Yeah. What's up, people? How you doing? How you doing? Welcome back. Hit the bid. Hit the bid.com. It's a free website. You think you're smart? You think you know what's going on in the stock market? Why don't you come to my website and prove us? Prove it to us. We're a competition website right now. We're going to start doing something a little bit different at the website. Now that we're a growing community, let's have some fun at this. You think you're a smart guy? You think you are got something to prove? You want to learn something? Come on to hitthebid.com. We're going to start running some contests. See who can do the best over a month's time. It's March 1st. Come over to the chat room. See what you got. We'll see where you are. April 1st, and maybe we'll start giving out some prizes. We got t-shirts. We got hats. We got cash prizes. Accolades. Maybe I'll send a girl over to your house to give you a lap dance or something. So, we all agreed that the market's not going down anymore. We had our down moment. Scary there for two weeks, were you? Dow 20,000 is inevitable, okay? As long as the government's buying stocks, as long as the government's in control, as long as there's manipulation involved and the stock market is still not a reflection of what's really happening in the economy, because we're all under the assumption that, oh, the recession's over and the depression's off the table and all that great stuff and all things around the globe are fine, right? Right. So just embrace that idea and keep buying stocks blindly. Throw a dartboard, man. Trust me. Trust me. We're not going down, all right? Because, you know, I've, I've been talking about a lot of different things, and I haven't got to the XNPT story or even the Hearn story, and let alone the Digital Globe story, which I'm thinking everybody made money on that one. But let's talk about those quid that I still own. Remember the quid that I am continually don't want to get out of because I think that markets was going to be going down a little bit more? You know what I'm doing, right? I'm still stuck in that 2,000 shares. So I'm under the assumption that as long as I don't get out of this quid, basically the stock that only goes up when the market goes down, something that someone who thinks that Dow's going to 20,000 should know. But be, being the stubborn moron that I am, I refuse to give in. And I had my opportunity to get out of 22. I said from 19 to 22 was going to be the move. I got the move. I didn't sell. So here I am sitting with it, and I'm not getting out. And, you know, as I'm not trading as much anymore, I'll just sit and wait. I've been hedging myself by selling naked puts on the queues to try to take in some money. But this disconnect between reality and what the stock market is doing, because I know people that still can't find jobs. I know people that are still complaining about this, that, and the other thing. Can't understand how people are saying them that America is great and everything's fine. But I say, hey, look at the stock market. Everything must be fine. Must be fine. So it was a good weekend. I hope everybody had a good time. And sometimes I don't make videos because I have a lot to say and I don't even know where to begin. So I don't begin at all. I just let it go. So if you want to hang out, come to the chat room. It's free. I'm going to be live all day over the next couple of days. We'll have some fun. We'll learn some things. And most importantly is... Don't sell stocks. Don't ever go short. Just buy what you like. And if it goes against you, buy some more because three days later it'll probably be back up. Now that sounds like irresponsible advice, right? But you know what? It's been working. It's been working. Are there any stocks, even when they're trending down, look like they're falling off the cliff, don't come back? You got one out of 50. One out of 50 stocks that I'm looking at don't make comebacks. You got to assume FSL all the way back to 125, 130 before you know it. It's the only stock that's actually down below them where we've been looking over the last couple of weeks. Okay, so it was a really good weekend. Got past, what, all the tragedies in my life, except now my family's sick, everybody's sick. But I, we, my wife and I, we did manage to have some oral sex this weekend. Yeah, but the thing is about oral sex and marriage life, that's when I come into the room naked and my wife says, Get the fuck out of here. That's oral sex in my marriage. Used to be a little bit more exciting oral sex between my wife and I. That was when we would stand on opposite sides of the room naked and scream back and forth at each other, fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. But the story is you're buying, you're holding, and my God, we're just never, we're never going down. And you've been waiting for me to say it again. We're never going down. Now the thing is, I'm at the point where I think that I control the stock market. This guy right here sitting in this office. Yes, this is actually an office. This isn't a closet in my room, which most people believe. 
I believe that I control the stock market. As long as I don't dump these last 2,000 quid, I personally will control the stock market from going down. So I'm asking for bribes and donations to help the website going on and somebody pay me off for not cutting out of these quid because you know what's going to happen. As soon as I get out of this quid, the Nasdaq's going to plummet at least 15 to 20% over the next you know, couple of weeks. Now the thing is, I should get out because even though it's going to go down 15 to 20% after I get out, it's going to just go right back, uh, it's going to go right back down to test me, to test my mental fortitude. My mental fortitude is this. <laughs> just can't get it right. Digital Globe is going to 30. Hearn, H-U-R-N, had its quarter come out, blowout quarter. That stock's still going to 30. I don't care what it does during the day. Sprint next to will get taken over this year, somewhere between five and six dollars even if it doesn't i've been selling naked puts on that stock so as long as it stays above 250 for a given amount of time the options start to get eaten into and that's in my favor because i'm a seller of the options if you don't understand that strategy come to the website i'll explain a little bit to you it's a little bit risky because you're really going long the stock without the benefits of being long the stock but at the same time you don't have to worry about the stock getting hammered too much because you're at a strike price below where the stock is normally. There's not much to say, not much to say about a bull market, but um, we can just sit back and enjoy it. Enjoy for what it is, okay? That's all I can say right now. Enjoy your life. Enjoy this bull market because it's enough of semantics. It's a bull market, okay? And the Dow will end at 13,000 this year. Next thing you know, it'll be 15,500. Then it'll be 18,200. And next thing you know, it'll be 20,000. And when the Dow is at 19,420 on December 27th, 2012, I don't want to hear any skeptics, okay, that it didn't hit 20,000. I'm saying at or around 20,000, okay? So U.S. Steel is going to 200. Yeah, look, look at Baidu, just to give you an indication of where the market's going to go. Baidu controls the market. I've been saying that since last year around this time. As long as Baidu goes up, the market goes up. I don't know where the, the correlation behind it all that some Chinese internet stock could control the world. Apparently it does. Oh, what about the Google? What if Google says they're not going to leave China and Baidu goes down? doesn't matter because then Baidu will control the stock market. I mean, Google will control the, control the stock market. There's always something. But the bottom line is this guy right here. Right here, I control the stock market. So send me your money, or I'm going to cover these quid, and I'm going to destroy all of your 401ks, and your SEP IRAs, and your Kios, and your Roths, and all your long-term holdings, and all that you worked for. This guy, right here, controls it all. So send me your bribes, or I'm going to cover this quid. I'm going to take this, what is it, like 14 grand loss right now, which was only about a $1,500 loss about two weeks ago. I'm going to take this loss in the ass, and I'm going to ruin it for everybody. Everybody. That includes you and your mother. <laughs>